grade 2 mathematics subtraction up to 9 using figures hello my dear children today we are going to learn how to subtract the numbers up to 9 by using figures. Shall we start our lesson now? Children, now look at these baskets. There are four mangoes in the basket A. Nadun took two mangoes from it. Now, little Tia wants to find out how many mangoes are remaining in the basket A. So, shall we help her? Look at the above pictures and try to find the answer. How many mangoes are in the basket A? Four mangoes. How many mangoes Nadun took from the basket A? Two mangoes. So, four minus two is the sum. And now we have to find out how many mangoes are remaining in basket A when Nadun took two mangoes out of four? Can you find the remaining number of mangoes in the basket A? Four minus two. Yes. The answer is two mangoes. So the number of mangoes in the basket A are two mangoes. So the answer is two. Activity two. Look at this basket A. How many balls are there? There are seven balls. Then Kamal took three balls out of seven and put into basket B. Out of seven balls, Kamal took three balls and put it into basket B. How many balls are there in basket A? Seven. Kamal took three balls and put them into basket B. And how many balls are remaining in the basket now? Yes. The answer is four balls are remaining in basket A. Therefore, 7 minus 3 equals 4. Look at this symbol, which is in red color. This is the minus mark. When we are going to do subtraction, we use this sign. Now, Let's do some subtraction by using figures and the above symbol. Look at the first question. There are five triangles and we have to take out two triangles. Let's start to take out two triangles first. What is the answer?
Yes, the answer is three triangles. Therefore, five minus two equals three. Look at the second question. There are four cylinders and we have to take out one cylinder. Let's start, let's take out the one cylinder. Now, how many cylinders are remaining? Yes, three. There are three remaining cylinders. So, four minus one equals three. Question number three. There are six stars and we have to take away two stars. One, two. Now how many stars are remaining? Four stars. Six minus two equals four. Now, let's strike out and find the answer. Question 1. There are 7 birds. And out of 7, 5 birds flew away. How many birds flew away? 5. Let's strike out and find how many birds are remaining now? One, two, three, four, five. We strike out five birds out of seven. Now how many birds are remaining? Yes, two birds. Now two birds are remaining. Therefore, seven minus five equals two. Question number two. There are five books. There are five books and we need to take out one book away out of five books. So, let's strike out and find out the remaining number of books. We we'll strike out one book and the answer is four books. Five minus one equals Question number three. There are nine flowers and out of nine flowers we have to take away four flowers. Let's strike out and find how many flowers will remain once we strike out four flowers out of nine. One, two, three, four. So how many flowers are remaining now? Yes, five flowers. Nine minus four equals Now children, 
This activity is for you. You have to strike out and get the answer for all these three questions. Look at the first one. There are six apples and we need to take away three apples out of six. Now find out how many apples are remaining. Find the answer and let's see whether your answer is correct. Okay. Now let's see the answer for the first one. Six apples are there and we have to take away three apples out of those six apples. To find the answer, we strike three apples. Let's strike them out now. One, two, three. Now how many apples are remaining? Yes, the answer is 3. 6 minus 3 equals 3. Now look at the second one. There are 8 oranges and you need to take out 3 oranges out of those 8 oranges. Strike out and find the answer. Okay, now let's find the answer. 8 oranges and we are taking away 3 oranges. 3. So, what's the answer? Yes, the answer is 5. 8 minus 3 equals 5. Now take a look at the last question. There are seven butterflies and we have to take away two butterflies out of those seven butterflies. Strike out and get the answer. Okay, now let's see the answer. There are seven butterflies and we are taking away two butterflies. One, two. So how many butterflies are remaining now? Yes, your answer is correct. Five butterflies. 7 minus 2 equals 5. I believe your answers are correct. Well done children. Hope you all understood the lesson. Have a nice day. Stay safe. And thank you.